welcome back to my channel. So today I have a feeding video for you guys. Yes, it is another hornworm feeding video. Fortunately, my pet shop that I go to like all the time has been carrying hornworms a lot more than usual. I'm not one to complain about that and I don't think anybody here would either because you guys love hornworm feeding videos. Personally, I love to make them. So let's just get started. <laughs> All right, so here are the hornworms and they are ready to be fed off. So I thought let's go ahead and start with Bubbles, my Afonopelma Samani. Oh my goodness. Oh. <laughs> okay, so she did get it. That was like so weird. <laughs> she got really excited about that. Let's go ahead and try this beautiful Athonopelma. Look at that beautiful girl. Let's try to get a nice close-up shot with her because she is gorgeous. Whoa, look at that. She's threat posing it. I don't know if she's threat posing it because she doesn't know what it is or if she's just not hungry. Yes. All right, I guess I could try poking it. Do you want it? No? Okay. Look at that attitude. She slowly walks away. My goodness, you're in a phonopelma, calm down. Abdomen's a little dark, so I'm kind of thinking that's pre-molt over there. That's okay, let's go ahead and try feeding my Grandma Stola Pulchra. And I think we could do a pretty big worm. Oh, <laughs> look, I know you're hungry. Woo! Oh, he kicked hair at me. Mm. I'm actually just gonna go ahead and leave that worm in there because I know he'll eat it later. He loves these things. Okay, this is one that I don't know if we're going to see. And this is a new one that I don't think you've ever met. So in here, I have an adult female M. robustum. And yes, I do actually have a sub-adult male as well for her. So where she usually is, is around this area. Might need to get a flashlight out. So I found her and she's literally all the way back here. Her burrow is literally right here and she is all the way back here. So I don't think we're going to be getting her out. And that's exactly why you guys haven't even met her yet because I rarely catch her out. But yeah, it's a shame we don't get to see her today. She has a really nice enclosure that my friend set up. Shoebox or something. Where did he, he got this from the container store. Oh, it's a hat box. Duh. Well, I do think that my sea sandiri will eat for us. So let me go ahead and try, I guess. I'm gonna prop it up just so you can see a little bit better. Got this worm. Yes, very interested. Cool. Yeah, that's for you. Mmm, blue raspberry. How many times do you have to poke it before you realize it's delicious? <laughs> this anticipation though, come on, take a bite. Yes, so close. All right, cool. <laughs> I'm just glad she took it. Bon appetit. So this is my Lazadora striatopes, and this is a female. She's incredibly difficult to come out, to get to come out, but maybe she'll come out for one of these. Okay, so she actually bolted to the back corner over here. Not ideal. Let me show you what she looks like though. There she is. She has some mold down there in her burrow again, so it looks like we're gonna have to do another rehousing because this is one of those species I keep a little bit more damp. So I did just drop the worm in there because I know she'll eat it. It's just a question of when she'll eat it. And we can check back in a little bit. All right, this is a little friendly species that we all know and we all love, and it is my younger H. chiliensis. And I will be honest, she is not the best eater, so I guess let's see how this goes. It's the smallest worm I have. Do you see it? No. Yeah, she seems like scared of it. <laughs> That's okay. 
All right, I should have seen that one coming, but she is just too gentle for something like that. We are definitely going to need the biggest worm for the next tarantula we're about to feed. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, my friend gave this one to me and her name is Midas, but I call her garbage disposal. So I'm going to pick the biggest one, which I believe is this one. Oh no. Yeah, doesn't even think twice. Look at that girl. All right, we are going to feed my new Brachypoma Smithy. And I have a feeling she is not going to eat, but it won't hurt to try. There she is. Oh, it makes me nervous she's so high up. I don't like that. So, so far she doesn't care at all. And I'm not surprised at all because she's like super gentle. So she backed away from it. My tarantulas are too nice. What are you guys doing? Are you kissing? <laughs> so nothing is happening and I have a feeling nothing is going to happen for a really long time. But now how am I gonna get her paws back inside? Just so I can put the lid back on. Well, it's there if she wants it, I guess. All right, so this is my Emiranus, and she never lets us down. So let's hope that she takes this down like she usually does. She looks pretty plump, but that's just because I like to keep her well fed. Is that what you ordered? So it has been an incredibly long amount of time. Oh, <laughs> she makes me jumpy because she moves when she wants to move. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> That's all it took. Oh, no, no, don't come up. Don't come up here. Do not, do not leave the premises. Stay on the premises. There she goes, back into her hide. Have a nice meal. Meanwhile. I don't know if you guys were curious, but the Grandma Stola Pulchra is eating the worm now. And also my L. Striatopes is back there eating it as well. They'll usually eat it, but sometimes it can take a really long time for them to kind of figure out that it's food. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and try to feed this guy. Um, he's pretty skittish, but his appetite tends to be good, so I guess it's worth a shot. He's so old. I'm honestly not sure if he's going to eat. Like, I'm surprised he's even still alive because they don't really live long after they mature, but he's been living a very long time. He literally just tried to casually stroll out and now he's threat posing me and won't let me put the lid back on. Do you see that? Like he's like legit is like threat posing me. This is like the best way to get them down. <laughs> he's threat posing the worm now. Hopefully he eats the worm. But even if he doesn't eat the worm, I just gave him a bunch of water, which Nandus appreciate. All right, my Ceratogyrus species usually are pretty ready to eat anytime. There's my sea marshally girl. And you can see how large her horn is compared to my sea sandiri. Look how giant that horn is. She has the biggest horn out of all my horned baboons. So let's try giving her this. Oh yes, girl. I can always count on her. No matter how big she is, she's always ready to take a meal. It's crazy. Martin and I just did a podcast about our five favorite baboon tarantulas, and I had to pick one Ceratogyrus species to say it was my favorite, and I picked the Marshali because their horns are so big compared to the other Ceratogyrus, except the new one, which is not even in the hobby yet, but that one's horn is like freaking huge. Now I kind of want to see if my sea darlingy will eat for us on camera. So she is quite shy. I'm not really sure if we can get her to come out to eat, but of course we'll try. Yeah, I have a feeling she is not going to come out. Oh, oh, here she is. She's interested. Yes, yes. She's hungry. Otherwise she wouldn't have come out this much. We have not moved for quite a while. 
Yes. Yes. Oh yeah, you can peep her horn right there. See how her horn faces back? That is the rear horned baboon. All right, and she got scared and went back into her hole. So I'm just going to leave that in there with her and she'll probably eat it later. All right, let's feed my Brachypelma homori. This girl is probably going to eat this one. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I didn't even get a chance to get a good shot of that. Jeez, someone was hungry. Oh, 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 no, 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 no. <laughs> All right, well, you're set for now. Okay, so we have one big worm left, and I thought it would be perfect for this big girl who I'm hoping is going to be a mother soon. She's looking great, she's looking huge and doing well. So let's try to feed her a hornworm. If you guys are new to my channel, this is Pikachu. She's my grandma stole a polka piece, and I bred her back in February, so she might be pregnant. Now, she is really confused by hornworms. Oh, look at that girl, jeez. She's always confused by hornworms, but she does like them. Like once she actually eats them. I think I have so many pictures of her threat posing hornworms. It's so funny. Oh. All right, so we're on a standoff. I don't know if I can take it or if she's going to take it. I think she's going to take it. Don't let it get away. This is kind of the process every time I feed her a hornworm. She like first threat poses it, then she starts cuddling it, and then eventually she eats it. I guess I'll let you guys know on Instagram or something if she ever eats this. It's tiny and it doesn't look to be in very good shape, but I thought I could try to feed it to this little guy. Yeah! Okay, you got it? Yeah? Oh wow, I did not expect this to actually take it. This is my dead leaf mantis, if you aren't familiar with them. Look at it go, whoa, that's crazy. It's like bubble gum. I think this is officially my favorite way I've ever ended a video. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Like this video if you did. Subscribe if you're not. Hey, Don't forget that I have an Instagram that I use probably way too much. It's at tarantula.cat. You can go follow me there. I also have a Patreon, which is linked down below. And also check out my podcast with Bird Spider CH. Martin and I make new episodes every week or two or three. We're kind of just getting started, but you can check us out on Spotify and Apple Music. It's called Both World Tarantulas. Just search it. it should come up. And I will see you guys soon.